I have the Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra and I'll be showing you how to pair this watch to a Samsung phone. Now, when you turn on your watch for the first time, normally you should see a pop-up to pair, but in case that pop-up has disappeared or it didn't pop up on your phone, then you can always go to the Galaxy wearable app. Now on the Galaxy wearable app, you can see I've already paired something else. So you want to tap on this button here, okay? So this one right here, tap on it. And when you tap on it, it allows you to see this little page where you have this plus symbol in the top right corner to tap on plus and add device. So when it scans for devices, it's going to detect your Galaxy Watch Ultra. And you can tell it's this one because of this code. Okay, so it's going to be the same code. So if it's the same, just select it. Then check the number on your watch. 766462, 766462. If it's the same, tap on confirm. And then now you can proceed with the setup on your phone. Okay, now obviously you have to agree to the Samsung end users license agreement and privacy notice and then tap on continue. And then now it's connecting or rather getting ready to connect. In the process, you'll be asked to log into your Samsung account. So you can skip or if you want to just log in by tapping on next. Now, of course, logging into your Samsung account from your phone makes it much easier to install apps from the Play Store and do other things that involve your Google account. Then once you put in your username and password, you should see your Google Terms of Service, which you have to read and agree. And now it's checking for Google Play services. So here it shows me uh, apps that come pre-installed on, on the device and here uh, some extra apps that I, I might want to install. Okay, so You can select the ones you want installed for instance if you want SoundCloud you can add it there if you want the Nike Run Club app you can install that and then tap on continue and then you have the automatic watch backup Okay, so tap on next if you want your watch automatically backed up to either Google or Samsung so for the most part, this is going to be on your Samsung cloud account or rather Samsung account. It says smart switch on watch. I mean, smart switch on watch uses these permissions. So you have to agree or deny, just tap on allow if you want to, or rather, or if you want to use backups. Now, as you can see, it's already detected. I have a backup. Okay. Now it's going to give me the option to restore that backup or to set up as a brand new watch. Now, since I'm setting this up as a new watch, I'll choose set up as new watch. And then I'll continue the setup process. So select quick button action, I'll just choose remind me later, preferred wrist. I like to wear my watch on the left. So I'll leave that as it is, tap on next. Now it's going to ask me to create your own multi-sport workouts. It's basically showing me the features of the watch and Samsung health app. You can tap on next and then create custom workout routines. We tap on next. This is basically it's just, a, just an orientation of the new features of the Galaxy watch and the health app. Okay, so you can just read all that and tap on next. Now, if you have a mobile plan, you can add it to the watch or you can skip and do that later. And then now let's finish the setup process. And that's it. So that is basically how to set up a Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra with a Samsung phone. Thanks for watching. Comments and questions down below and good luck.